Further back, Jimmy Johnson, they're going to go side by side with Jeff Burton. And right in front of them, whoa, Boris. And oh. he, I tell you what, I thought he might get a little bit turned oh. on that. The narrow part of the track oh, the here. They're coming by you here out to break. Look out, guys. Oh, oh man. Boy, that's a dangerous spot. Running ninth at the time, and the caution is out. It'll be our fourth. We talked yeah, to we got a lot of damage. Alan mentioned it uh, in the pre-race about the funnel that you just feel like you're going into there. Well, that's more than a feel. It actually does <laughs> funnel down right there. Not a lot of room. Let's see what happened here. It looked like him and Stewart racing pretty hard down in this corner. Can like see Boris has the advantage. Yeah, but Tony's on the outside and he's not going to give. I think he felt like that Boris. Well, yeah, it looks like Boris maybe running him out of room, and Tony says, "Uh, uh, wasn't taking any of that." It looked like Boris kind of forced him off out of the racing line anyway. Tony didn't like that. Yeah. This one. Still there, barely. Door still there. Yeah, generally when still you're there. trying to pass. Yeah, I mean, he's got to leave that outside guy. Yeah, you can't get lane. all the way over to, break. They're coming by here. to, to break. those white rumble strips there. 14, Dr. Well, you can, but you might want yeah. to expect something about like this. That idiot tries to run us straight off the racetrack. I'm going to hold my line. Did exactly what you're supposed to do there. Don't worry about it. This will... Uh, be one of those situations where there's two sides to this story. Each driver's going to think he was right. On board with Tony. Well, Boris has a line right here, but he does. He has to leave enough room for that car on the outside. Yeah. Well, he was going to put Tony Come over on. in the dark right there. Tony just made his way back onto the asphalt, and the 83 was there. And Boris said has climbed from the wrecked 83 car. Obviously very disappointed. Uh, what happened? Uh, well, I mean, we were having a really good run in the Red Bull car. I mean, it was team did a great job. Pit stops were great. I was biding my time, kind of just waiting for uh, the end of the race to really go after it. And uh, well, there me and Tony Stewart. I guess he was just doing his deal, and I was doing my deal, and our deals collided. I mean, that's uh, that corner bit me twice this week. It's just a, you know, I don't really know what he was thinking, but you know, that was just hard racing, double file restarts. All the restarts were wild. They were a blast. I mean, I, I had a great time in this car. It was a great opportunity for me to be in a top team, and I'm just really sorry that you know I disappointed the guys because the car was the car was flying well. Yeah, this is a different angle. The onboard camera with Tony Stewart. I mean, he's off the track and looks like he's trying to get back on. I didn't quite know he was there. I thought he filed in behind me, but you know, I mean, I, I'm a Tony Stewart fan. I'm not going to bitch and moan about him or say anything bad, but. I just feel bad for these guys, and you know, I don't know what I could have done different. You know, so hopefully you can tell me what I did wrong there, because I don't think I did anything wrong. But man, I sure have a good time driving, driving these cars, and it's just exciting racing. And this track is so great, and you know, this Red Bull team's great. They gave me wings, but I didn't expect to be flying around in circles. I wanted to be flying around the winner's circle at the end of the race. But I think we had a top five car. Marty, he was disappointed. Obviously, he had high hopes coming into today. Well, he was running ninth, Mike, and he's had a rough weekend. He finished 22nd in the Nationwide race, 21st in the Grand Am race. And as you can see, what's happened here as he's listed in 36th with 21 laps to go next time. By